For 25 years, we've been expanding the possibilities of storage so that companies can create game-changing products. To find out more about how you can be ready for the future, visit sandisk.com business. Welcome to another episode of WDD's Hotspot. Let's get things started with Film Film Electronics, who has successfully demonstrated its fully functional and standalone smart sensor label designed for monitoring perishable goods. According to ThinFilm, this temperature label is a complete closed system built from printed and organic electronics and will help pharmaceutical companies keep temperature sensitive products safe and effective while preventing the unnecessary destruction of usable products. It will also provide retailers using temperature monitoring labels during shipment of produce and other food products immediate insight with regards to both shelf life and food safety. Establishment Labs has announced the latest breast implant technology that consists of a microchip within the implants that is meant to make medical care for users significantly easier. We weren't talking about cantaloupe. The Motiva Implant Matrix Aerogonomics, that's not a fun name for this kind of technology, provides information about the implants to doctors and patients, such as serial numbers and original manufacturers. Establishment Labs reassures that these smart knockers are not meant to track or watch patients, but to give women the power of verification of control over their implants. Sure it does. Google is working on a browser extension, Upoxy, that lets users share alternative, more secure routes to the internet. So like a personal VPN service you set up for yourself. Every time you connect to a website, your information can travel from your computer to a Wi-Fi hotspot, to an internet service provider, and then onto an international gateway before arriving at the site. At each step, the connection may be blocked, surveyed, or misdirected. So Upoxy allows you to provide a pathway that's safer, more private, and provides more reliable access, helping users to avoid attacks on their connections. For more information on this development, visit upoxy.org. The Industrial Technology Research Institution, which is Taiwan's largest high-tech research and development institution, has introduced iAir Touch technology one of the first see-through display and air touch input technologies for computers, wearable computers, and mobile devices. If you're confused, check out Mission Impossible. This type of technology allows a user's hand to be free of any physical device such as a touchpad or keyboard for touch input and enables a user wearing a pair of special eyeglasses to see and interact with a virtual input device such as a touch screen or mouse that appears to be floating in air while still being able to see and interact with the real world around them. For more information on this breakthrough technology, visit www.itri.org.tw slash eng. It's a long URL. Maybe just click on it. Click on it. Flash it in front of the screen. There you go. Well, that's all for this episode. Craving more wireless news? Then come and visit us at wirelessdesignmag.com and also check out our Facebook and Twitter pages to become part of the conversations. If you love video, our YouTube channel has some great series, so don't forget to subscribe by clicking the link below. Go ahead, click on it. For WDD, I'm Megan Simba, and I'll see you next time in the hotspot.